Hello Fantasy Faithfuls and welcome to Season 2, Episode 4 of CSD Head to Head. Today we're looking at Adam Thielen versus Doug Baldwin. Both Thielen and Baldwin of course rank as the number one wide receiver on their respective teams. Thielen is currently drafted as the 12th wide receiver while Baldwin is the 11th. Starting off, we're breaking down the receiving of Adam Thielen. His receiving patterns show a receiver that does not have a clear preference to either side of the field since the deep left is his most targeted deep zone and the short right is his most targeted short zone. Highly unusual. Thielen's catch rate in the deeper zones are amazing and will be a great asset for Cousins when going for those deep throws. His short zone catch rate is well above the 60% that I'm looking for except the short right, which is too bad since he usually sees 30% of his targets there. His touchdown rate over the last 3 years has been 2.8%, well below the 5.4 league average. The yards per reception are on par with the rest of the league in all deeper zones, deep right being slightly above and deep middle a few below. His short yardage however is 1 yard less than the league average in all zones and he will be a safe guy to throw to, but not a yard machine. Showing blitz, Rams bring it, Keenum gets rid of it, Thielen makes the move, Adam Thielen! Off to the races, touchdown! Now let's take a look at Doug Baldwin. Even though Russell Wilson is known for his 60 deep ball, Baldwin has traditionally seen very few targets in the deeper zones. His most targeted zone is his short ride with a huge share of all targets with 34%. Baldwin's catch rate in the deeper zones are not Thielen amazing, but they're still really really good. Catching half of all deep throws is well above the league average of 40%. His short zone catch rate is however amazing if it's perfectly with his receiving patterns. His touchdown rate over the last 3 years has been incredible, 8.5%, which is 3rd best in the entire NFL. Baldwin's yards per catch in the deeper zones are similar to Thielen and are on par with the rest of the league. His yards per reception in the shorter zones are also look like Thielen, being slightly behind the league average. Here they come, pass across the middle, and it's caught for the first! It's Baldwin, shaking free and sprinting down the sideline for the touchdown, his third of the day, Doug Baldwin. In the usability comparison, we compare how many weeks they should have been started last year. We see that Thielen had five weeks where he ranked as wide receiver number one, while Baldwin had four. Baldwin wins the amount of wide receiver two weeks with three against Wood. Baldwin also wins the wide receiver three weeks with one more than Thielen, three versus two. Thielen can never be counted out on any down. He has almost the exact same yardage split between first, second, and third, which is amazing of 33%. Baldwin loves playing football in December, and he especially loves playing football in the end zone. 48% of all of his touchdowns have come in December. Now let's have a look at how they perform in different situations. Thielen has a very even home away split, but with a small edge to home games. Baldwin is similar, but with a little bit edge going to the home games. When it comes to playing against AFC, Thielen is terrible. Luckily, he's a beast against the NFC teams. Baldwin has a small difference in a negative way since he's an NFC receiver. To finish out, Thielen does not change his fantasy scoring depending on the opponent while Baldwin steps up his game against teams with a winning record. Thielen's best situation is playing at home versus an above 500 record NFC team and Baldwin's best situation is playing at home versus an above 500 record AFC team. Comparing the numbers, their standard deviation is almost the same, meaning that their fluctuations in the scoring almost match each other. 
Thielen has a one game ceiling of 15.4, while Baldwin has 17.9. Baldwin has a much higher one game floor with 3 against Thielen's 1.4 and my pick after comparing the receiving, usability, situational play and numbers is Doug Baldwin which after looking at the whole picture wins decisively. Thank you very much for watching, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more weekly content and as always the spreadsheets are dark and full of terror.